Whoa, 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 what is up, HH fans? Hanging out here with Avery Jennings, who unfortunately had to sit through a Belpre whooping over the Trimble Tomcats. 73 to 39 was the final score. Oh, Trimble only scored 39 points tonight, Avery. Mm -hmm. It looks like they just weren't shooting the ball well. Oh, you know, you could put it lightly and try and sugarcoat it, but there just wasn't too much that was pretty about Trimble's offensive game tonight. And, you know, all the things that they did really well against Eastern on Tuesday just sort of went out the window. They were shooting about 30% excuse me, from the field today. And Cyrus Jones, their facilitator on offense, was really inefficient. Only two for eight shooting on the night. They just couldn't get anything going. It's tough to get things going offensively when, you're, when you're, your main staple in that offense is uh, is not running too well. All right, now let's flip on to the other side of the ball. We defense, I mean, they let up 73 points. What were they doing defensively and what weren't they doing defensively? Well, you know, Trimble's a small team. They're a fast team, but they're a small team. They're not really deep. They don't have a lot of size, so they can't really contest shots in the lane. They like to try and get into the passing lanes and create turnovers. And Belfry knew what they were doing tonight, went out and exploited those weaknesses, you know, beat them off the dribble drive and got really good shots in the lane. And they were hitting on those shots. When they got open looks, they made them. 31 for 56 tonight for the Golden Eagles. That's an incredible percentage. I mean, Jake Ullman wow. scored the first nine points for Belfry, got him on a roll, had 26 on the night. Eight different players got on the board for the Golden Eagles. They were moving the ball well, Trimble wasn't. That was the story of the game. Oh, wow, and, and for me, I mean, last year I got to cover this Trimble Tomcats team. I mean. Seeing a team, it's, it's weird not seeing a tall team like out of them. I mean, last year they know a guy three, Tyler Davis, and those guys are way above six foot. And so at least they're uh, trying to make do with what they have size wise. Now, where I mean, where do they go from here? I mean, they 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 won last Tuesday for the first conference win. I know you got to cover that as well. Yeah. And now they just get blown out tonight. So what what is up next for these Tomcats? Well, you know, why don't we go ahead and ask Coach Kurt Moore about that? Find out. Six league games, you keep fighting and never give up. We still have a tournament to play for. We would like to, we have an opportunity to get a sectional championship. That's the great thing about basketball. After game 20, there's always something to play for. All right, so now Trimble is 2-12 and 12 overall after this hard loss. A great win on Tuesday, but a little setback today. But like you heard Coach Moore say in the saw it just recently, uh, the great thing about high school basketball is at the end of the year, there's a tournament that everybody has a chance to play for. And when Trimble puts it together on both sides of the ball, on offense and defense, like we saw on Tuesday, they're a tough team to run with, a tough team to compete with. So they're going to try and look to do that later on in the season. Okay, well, we'll see if uh, these Tomcats catch a little fire going into the sectional tournament, maybe make some noise. Uh, thanks a lot tonight, Avery. Uh, for more recaps like tonight's, check out our website at woub.org slash heroes, and you better tune into our show. 6.30, Sunday nights, WOUB2. You can see Avery and I, all the crew, cast and crew. It's going to be a fun time. So that's it for uh, Avery and I. But remember, be heroic.